Hello everybody, a very good evening and a very warm welcome to this super informative and super important session that is, is COVID-19 back? 2020 and 21 saw something that we had never imagined is possible in the 21st century and that is the pandemic and the lockdown. Millions of people lost their lives across the world to the coronavirus. Originated in China apparently, this virus literally in every sense brought mankind to a standstill. People who had not even stepped out of their homes for months, still they acquired the virus and eventually the COVID-19. Slowly, eventually, with the hard work of the frontline workers, with the hard work of the doctors and the scientists, we were able to get the vaccine against the COVID-19. The vaccine brought down the numbers of the active infections and slowly and slowly in phases the lockdown was lifted and life came back to normal. We were just about to enjoy the normal, we were just about to enjoy the new normal, the stepping out of people and we heard that in 2023 as of March, April, COVID-19 is back. I vividly remember that it was somewhere around 20th of March in 2020 that the lockdown was imposed because of the super rising number of the active cases. And again, three years later, same around the 20th of March 2023, we again hear that the cases are increasing. As of 6th of April 2023, there have been 5,335 active cases of COVID-19 with active infections that have gone up to 25,000. So, is there something that we should be worried about or is it something casual? If the cases are rising, why are they rising? This and a lot more in today's session on Is COVID-19 Back? With me, Pratesh, your host, your dose and a proud educator from Mbibe, once again welcoming you. So, let's explore that Is COVID-19 Really Back? We all know that COVID-19 is caused by the coronavirus, a virus which keeps on changing its shape, which makes the working of the vaccine even more difficult. Also, I hope that all of you, especially the elders in your house and you also are vaccinated against the COVID-19. If you haven't, please go and take your dose, not only of the second, you know, not only the second dose, but also the booster dose because it's really helpful. Now, the COVID spike, the number of active COVID cases is increasing in the country and there are states which have shown a spike and in the COVID numbers and they are Kerala, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Karnataka. Spike in numbers might be due to co-infection of H3N2 influenza and COVID as both have similar respiratory symptoms. Few days back, I had done a session on the new influenza virus. If you haven't watched that session, please go and watch where I have spoken about the virus, about how it is spreading, about what are the symptoms and you will realize that the symptoms are very, 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 very similar to the COVID-19 symptoms. Also, when there are two super infectious viruses in the atmosphere, it definitely challenges your immunity. So, on one hand, we have the, you know, the coronavirus and on the other hand, we have the H3N2 virus. And that too, coronavirus is not just one. It has got so many different variants. So, there is a direct challenge to your immunity. The weather also is playing its part and that is why we are seeing a spike in the number of cases. So, it's time to get alert. It's time to bring back those masks from the cupboard. Start wearing them and it's time to again and you know again to be vigilant and to stay away. To stay away from crowded places to protect yourself. Reasons for the COVID spike are low booster vaccination coverage. So many people whom I know around me have not taken the booster dose. I have taken my uh, dose of the booster vaccine. I hope you have and your elders have. If you haven't, please, please, please go and take the booster dose. A low booster vaccination coverage means that only a small percentage of people who have completed the initial vaccination schedule have received a booster shot. Virus can still easily spread among those who have not received a booster vaccine. So, please go and take your booster dose. I think uh, after 9 months of the second dose, you can take your booster dose. 
So, if you have successfully taken your second dose, which I hope you all have, after 9 months and if it has completed 9 months, you can easily go and take your booster dose. Emerging variants. New variants of the virus are still emerging and spreading even among vaccinated individuals. These variants may be more transmissible or more resistant to existing vaccines leading to a rise in cases. And you know, it's not just that if you are in crowded places, you are going to, uh, you know, you might acquire COVID-19. There are people, those who stay quite away from public and they also have the COVID-19 in 2023. So, make sure that you are protecting yourself as much as possible. Why are the COVID uh, cases increasing? The first is relaxation of restrictions. Now, obviously, the lockdown would not have been there forever. So, the lockdown has been lifted. But then again, we have to be vigilant. You know, see, there's a saying that you cannot cover the earth with the carpet. You have to wear shoes in your own feet. Similarly, the administrative forces, they cannot keep the lockdown forever. The lockdown has been lifted. I don't know whether they will impose it again or not. But then you have to protect yourself. Even during lockdown, cases were increasing, right? And that is why you have to keep yourself safe. Many states in India relax the COVID-imposed restrictions, thus allowing for greater movement and social gatherings. This may have contributed to the spike in the cases. Immunity gets challenged and definitely the cases get spiked. Breakthrough infections. Vaccines are not 100% effective and some vaccinated individuals may still get infected with the virus. People with breakthrough infection might not show symptoms or only have mild symptoms, but still they can spread the virus to others who may be more vulnerable to severe illness. So, you know, there are uh, people, those who have even taken the booster dose, they are also contracting the COVID-19. But then the difference is that the ones, those who, those who have taken all the three doses, they are showing mild symptoms or no symptoms. But even if they are not showing symptoms, they become an active spreader of the virus. So, that's why, please, 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 it's time to bring back the mask. It's time to follow the guidelines. It's time to follow the restrictions for your own self. Right? Apart from that, other uh, the precautions that you can take are definitely vaccination. So, take all the three doses if you haven't yet. Wear a mask. So, it's time to bring back your mask. Wear a mask. Cover your nose. Cover your mouth. And also, if you come across anybody around you who is coughing or sneezing, if they are not wearing a mask, please ask them to wear a mask and you first cover yourself because cough, influenza, flu, they spread like nobody's business and they challenge your immunity and then the chances of acquiring other viruses also increases. So, make sure that if anyone around you is coughing or sneezing, you immediately cover your nose and mouth and you ask them to cover theirs as well. Wearing a mask over your nose and mouth can help prevent the spread of COVID-19, especially when you are in crowded or enclosed spaces. Practice good hygiene. Washing your hands with soap and uh, water for at least 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. So, I don't think sanitizers have gone anywhere. People have been using sanitizers since the time COVID started. Uh, even I always carry a sanitizer in my bag. So, and also like I think in so many public places, there are sanitizers. In, in our office also at Mbibe, there are sanitizers at every table. In the dining area, everywhere there is a sanitizer which you can use. Now, this is for us, but for you, I would advise that please carry a sanitizer and uh, you know, always keep it with you before you're eating, before you touch your nose, touch your mouth, touch your eyes. First of all, avoid touching your nose, mouth, or eyes. And if at all, please, please, please always use a sanitizer which is alcohol based that will kill all the you know, microorganisms that are present on your hands. A sanitizer should also be used generally also, even when COVID or no COVID, a sanitizer must be used by one and all. Then, the other precautions are, so we bring back the precautions, social distancing, avoid large gatherings, stay home if you are sick. Stay home, stay safe. The guidelines are back. Social distancing, do gas ki duri bhi hai zaruri. Right? Stay at least six feet away from others, especially if they are sick. Now, pehle kya tha ki stay Six feet away from people every time. But now if they are sick, so definitely stay away. Avoid large gatherings. Stay away from large gatherings of people, especially if they are indoors. Stay home if you are sick. If you are feeling sick, stay home and avoid contact with others to prevent the spread of the virus. And also, you know, we all know what are the symptoms of COVID. We, the entire globe has seen the pandemic for two years at its, in its complete glory. So, 
you know what you are supposed to do. So, immediately you have to get tested, quarantine and isolate and monitor your health. So, if you are somebody who is showing any kind of symptoms which you feel are related to COVID, please, please, please get yourself immediately tested not only for yourself but for the people around you. If you have symptoms of COVID-19 or have been in close contact with someone who has tested positive, immediately get tested and notify everybody. Quarantine and isolate. If you have, if you have been exposed to COVID-19 or have tested positive, follow the guidelines of public health officials and quarantine or isolate as necessary to prevent spreading the virus to others. Men monitor your health. Keep an eye out for symptoms of COVID-19 such as fever, cough and shortness of breath. If you develop symptoms, get tested and stay home to avoid spreading the virus. Now, I don't know what to say but even after getting the second dose, I got COVID three times. Three times I got COVID. So, uh, you know, now my immunity is low or I came in contact with somebody who was very strongly COVID positive or what, I don't know. But I got it and it's really bad. Not only COVID guys, any, any kind of sickness is bad. It takes a toll on your body. So, make sure that you keep yourself protected as much as possible. Take your vaccine doses. Eat healthy, stay healthy, stay away from public gatherings, stay away from crowded places, wear a mask, keep your hands clean, regular sanitizing and you know showering after you come, out, come back home from outside. All these are the basic things that we all must follow to maintain a good body and a good mind and a good health. Right? So follow the guidelines. Hope that all of you are always healthy and happy and safe. Right? On that note guys, we come to the end. I hope this session was useful and fruitful. And if it was, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Do share it with everybody, everybody whom you know, right? And uh, subscribe to the channel because it's absolutely free. Until we meet next, this is Pritesh, your host, your dose and a proud educator from Mbibe. Signing off for now, take care of yourself. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed, stay, stay safe and stay home if you are sick, right? And until we meet next, Keep imbibing. We believe in you. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.